Alrighty, welcome to another walkthrough. Today we got ourselves a 2007 Monaco Diplomat 40 PDQ. It's a quad slide 400 Cummins horse. Beautiful, beautiful RV. So we're gonna run through the exterior here, check out everything it has to offer, all the compartments, and jump right inside. Of course, it's full body paint. Got that beautiful paint coat, and even though it is an 07, your black is not checking. It looks perfect. They definitely had this in some uh, covered parking, to say the least. Got the big old 22.5 tires on it, 295, 75Rs. Here's your first compartment. I just took this coach in today. We haven't been able to clean it out yet, so you'll still see some of the previous owner's stuff, but when we get something this nice and this clean initially, I gotta shoot a video right away. Nice little slide out, that'll go both ways. One of those 70 percenters. And you got a whole nother big old pass through right here. I'm sure you can see that central vac system right there. All side latch doors. So you don't have to worry about opening them under the slide, hitting your head. Makes it nice and easy. One fuel fill there, you should have one on the other side. Big ol' awning. Awning goes over the slide, which is nice. And then of course I put the door awning out too for you. Both electric. Now you don't have a compartment there that's like a service area for technicians, but you do have window awnings where you don't have a, where you don't have the awning covering the window. So you can pull that out, give you a little bit of extra shade if you're gonna be parked somewhere for a while. To your battery compartment, six batteries in there right now. That is on a slide out tray. And then you got your big old inverter there. That's a 2000 watt inverter. Your nice, I'll call a heavy duty plastic in there. Here's the back of the coach. Nice little rock guard. You can see that 400 horse. And then this whole back piece pops off to show you the radiator. Got your coolant there. And then of course your engine oil here in the back. And then down below we got your hitch. Now that hitch, as you can see on this little tag right here, is a 10,000 pound hitch. And then you got your seven pin connector right there. Very nice. Two additional slides on this side, all with slide toppers, and all the toppers got metal covers too. It's a great little feature. It's your exhaust for the coach. And then you got your power cord, and you can see right there you got that auto reel, which is awesome. So that'll just completely quickly push a button and it reels in the cord. 15 amp power service, of course. This is a 40 foot RV with two ACs, so you gotta have it. And then the next compartment here, we got your dump station of course and like I said I mean it's not as pretty on the outside I mean we're in the middle of cleaning it you'll see a couple little you know marks that'll clean up and some dust but wait till you see the inside these people definitely they definitely took care of their coach <laughs> all right and then here's the uh well after we go through this one where you got your propane tank in there here are the other side of those big old compartments that's that full-on pass through without the slide and then the next one is the one with the slide. And as you can see, you got that same yellow thing. You can pull that out this way too. A lot of storage. Another fuel fill right there. One of the tires. Little electronic compartment here. I usually just say technicians deal with this. Got generator exhaust there. I got the gen set out. That exhaust is usually kind of about right in that area, except when it's out. Quiet, diesel, 8,000. It's only 108 hours on it. Let's just say they probably never used it much. For a coach that's 13 years old now, the 100 hours on it. It's a great outside. Let's jump inside too. A couple steps in. And you got a few more out. You got a step cover right there that comes out. And right before we get in there, see all your controls, battery disconnect, awning control, ceilings, all that good stuff. Nice little handle jumping in here too. And you got a little slide out tray for the passenger. So here is the first quick initial look before I start getting specific. Got to close up. The sun glare is pretty bad right now. <clears throat> Left side, auto leveling, of course, mirror heat, battery boost. You can move your pedals in and out when the engine's on. Also an electronic shifter, spotlight. It's got a whole lot of fun stuff to it. Now, miles, 39,178. That's pretty crazy for an 07. That should last quite a bit longer. Gen start, step cover, I mean. See that comes out and we'll lift up so you can, oh 
Oh, I forgot to show you. Check that out. Passenger seat gets a nice little reclining too. And of course, being a, a class A, you know, these two seats will turn around so you can use it as like a little conversation piece. Curtain that wraps all the way around. Act as your blackout. And you got like sunshades here when you are driving. Now, your storage, that's not much of a storage, but it's a little, little area. You got more wiring going there through the ceiling for this line guard setup and for, of course, the switch box. Now, I guarantee everything to be working at time of pickup for any RV. The only thing not included is a satellite system, especially on this. Unless they've updated it, it's probably outdated. And those are not the cheapest thing to fix or replace. And that's all the compartments up front. They're a little tall for me. And you'll see you got kind of surround sound speakers up front. You got those three. And you should have two more somewhere behind me. Pretty well hidden, it looks like. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And then, of course, local TV antenna. Let me put this back really quick. And that is electric, which is kind of cool. Boom. All right. Now, two slides up front from that corner all the way down to right past the fridge. And then this corner all the way down to right past that sink. Got opposing couches. They are both sleepers. And, I mean, I don't know. If you look at the furnishings on this, the upholstery... I mean, obviously you get a little bit more wear in the seats, but still not bad at all. But the couches really, I mean, the couches are in great condition, especially this one. You can get a little bit, a little bit of a cracking, but not like full cracking, just it looks good. Oh, so this is one of those trifold beds. So that'll turn into a sleeper, big old one. And then this looks like a pull out. It is. And then next to that, you got the table and chairs. And there, let's see. That does pull out too, so I'm, sure, I'm guessing there's probably two more chairs somewhere. Then you got a little bit of storage behind there, down below, and then all above. Now these are usually all connected. Let me open these up for you really quick, and then I'll show you. So these three are connected, and that's a pump that looks like a, what is that, an air mattress pump? Yeah. And then you got a wall separating it for these other three compartments. And Xcoach does have those day and night shades. So you got daytime there, nighttime there. Look at the balances. They're in great condition. Nice real wood right there. Beautiful detailing. Now, next up, we got your fridge. All also part of the slide. It's a side by side. Water and ice in the door. And what's cool about this is still an RV fridge so it'll run off a of propane or electric if you guys are doing any boom comp <laughs> boom comp boom camping or dry docking now over here you got two more compartments up above this couch now these are very similar to the other side it's just a little bit taller and both connected see on there you got your fantastic fan vent outlet nice Corian countertop throughout this does pull out so it will kind of push in if you want it to but to show you it pulled out See all your drawers. Nice and deep. Wow. That's a little bit thicker too. And then you can see that Corian throughout the whole counter, including your covers. And you got a real backsplash. That's not just a picture. Stove top. Let me move these heavy covers for you. Beautiful stainless steel three burner stove top. No oven in it. But you do have a convection. We'll look at that in a second. There you go, under there. And that's actually storage for those. Oh, where's my finger? And there's that's actually storage for those covers. Beautiful. Left of the microwave. Little spice area, spice rack up there. A big old convection microwave, residential size. Beautiful. Here's your sink. Don't worry about the water. <laughs> so you got a two-bay sink with your filtered water right there and oh there we go put that on camera my gosh <laughs> get a nice little pull there too now you do have metal blinds in the shower or i cannot speak today in the kitchen just for really grease it doesn't want it to catch on fire or anything so they keep the metal blinds in there now above That is hooked up to an inverter, of course, because you got a residential microwave, a little bit of storage, little bacon trays for that microwave. And to the right of that, more spice, can, pantry, you name it. 
something. A little mirrored area, good for if you want to look at yourself, don't worry about that. We won't show you me. <laughs> Central vac system there, so pretty cool. That's mainly the front, the galley, everything that it has to offer. We'll go look at the bedroom and the bathroom, of course. Now, turning around before we get there, got ourselves a control panel. Yeah, your AC and your zone control there. Level testers, generator, water, uh, water pumps, water heater, slide controls, inverter, power control center, all right there. Very nice. And like I said, you got the central vac down below. Open and go. And there's there's hoses in here. I think they're actually right here. There they are, all the hoses for it. But before we get to that, let's jump in the bathroom. So you got a china toilet. That's kind of nice. And not a bad amount of room in here. I mean, if you fully get in, sit down. I got plenty of space. Nice little green sink. Let's see. Medicine cabinet. Hard to step back and get you a good view at it, but. And that same Corian countertop throughout. Down below, under the sink. And you got three drawers and some power. Oh, I always, I always love pointing out the AC vent. <laughs> that is crucial. And you got a heat vent down there. So no matter when it is, you're not going to be cold or hot while you're doing your business. A little bit of more cabinet and then a fantastic fan, which us guys know is pretty crucial. <laughs> All right. So behind that, we got your vanity. Same exact setup. You got the... Corian top, nice heavy duty sink, medicine cabinet above. Hey, I think we just found ourselves some. Wait, so you're welcome to pause it at any time to check out those. Another thing to point out, got a little pocket door to separate the main living area from the bathroom and the master. Now turn around, you got one of those corner shower. Looks like a one piece fiberglass with a rounded sliding door. Now this guy right here, let's see if I can give you a good look. I'm 5'9". I know, I'm not that tall. I have plenty of room. You can be 6'3", six, 6'4", six, probably even 6'5". May have to bend down a little bit to get wet, but you can fit, that's for sure. And there's a little seat angled in there and a nice handle to help you in and out. Now, right to the left of that shower, you got these two compartments. Now this bottom one has been upgraded to a combo washer dryer unit. There we go. Now it's not a full stack, it is just a combo, but trust me, it is better than nothing and it's better than going to a laundry mat out of the way. And you can see your plumbing there for that, a couple of shelves, that light will turn on automatically, which is really nice. And what, like I said, another pocket door for the master if you are traveling with a lot of people. And then this is the master. I'm gonna try to give you the best look I can on video slide on the bed and a slide behind me for the where the TV would go to right there so let's look at here first very shallow slide nothing too crazy but you got these nice pull outs and as you can tell they're very deep go almost to the to the exterior wall these will be a lot shorter but you still got that same beautiful detailing on the countertops throughout kind of an older school DVD player but it will, would be hooked up to this TV that we need to replace a little bit of storage above, connected of course. And then you got storage below the TV. What's going on in here? Just a couple shelves it looks like. And then a couple more of those drawers down below. To the right of that, you got another drawer and another big old opening here. Let's see, that is kind of a wardrobe, same light up top. And you got area for sneakers, shoes, whatever. Look like that, another big old deep pull out drawer. Guess what? We're not even done with the wardrobe storage yet. Because we, of course, got a full-on wall storage. Let's open this up. Turn that on. All right. So another spot for shoes if you want. A little step stool. Somebody in here probably was a little bit shorter. Cedar line closet. Nice little wardrobe pull there. And you can kind of see your circuit board there and all the controls for it. And then it opens up on the other side, too. So this is actually pretty neat. Look at all these drawers. You got two, three, four drawers here. 
I don't know, I wonder if this was standard in the scene. This looks like a nice option. Let me tell you, the amount of socks and boxes or whitey tidies you can fit in there is immaculate. Three storage bins up, uh, and those are all connected too. Now, the, it does look like a queen bed. Oh, wait, wait a second. Nope, she's a king. Um, doesn't, is there storage below? There is, but they upgraded the mattress, and it is incredibly heavier than I expected. You can see no table here, though, but you got a table right there. And then back here, you got this little guy. That's your fan control. And having a ceiling fan in an RV doesn't seem like a big deal. Trust me, it is. And of course, side windows. Oh, hey, <laughs> side windows for both the coach on the slide. So there you go. A quick walkthrough of our 2007 Monaco Diplomat 40 PDQ LE Limited Edition. We are selling this beautiful coach for $84,995 here at Padata RV Center in Tucson, Arizona. I hope I was able to give you a good look at it, answered a couple questions if you had any just off photos. And if you have any questions, go ahead, comment down below. Have a great day.